What's up guys, Sheldon back with another review and today we are looking at the Super Production Statue Magician's Red from JoJo's Star Adventure Part 3 Stardust Crusaders. Uh, this guy is Abdul Stand. We'll talk about that in a second, so let's take a look at the box really quickly. So similar Harlequin pattern to Abdul, except this one's just like mostly red and orange. You can see he's got some poses you can put him in, the accessories he comes with, the display stand, uh, and whatnot. So speaking of accessories, let's take a look. So first off, he comes with these two alternate hands with fire effects on them. Very nicely done. You got two, one for each side. So you can have them like shooting fire, or holding fire. And I do want to say they're painted and sculpted very nicely. I'm just going to make this a little brighter right here so you can see. But you can see that the nails have like that yellow ish tint to them. There's like wrinkles in the hands. If we could focus fucking. Okay, maybe you can see that there. They're very, very nicely detailed. Okay, so he's got those hands. He's got these two claw hands. Kind of just like this aggressive attacking hand. Nicely painted, nicely sculpted. These two kind of chopping hands right here. He also comes with two interchangeable legs, which I'll show you in a second. And he comes with these two clear plastic sound effect parts. I forgot, I think this one is Muda Muda Muda, I think, I'm not sure. And I don't know what this one is though, uh, but it is some kind of sound effect uh, for the fire, I believe. Okay, and that does it for the accessories. So. Very nice spread of accessories, very nice spread of unique accessories, actually, so I'm really digging it so far. Uh, as for the figure, let's get a quick height measurement. So, in inches, he stands uh, just about six inches right here. And having him next to Abdul, let's see. So roughly the same height, a little bit bigger, sounds about right. There goes my ruler. Alright, so let's take a look at articulation. Uh, actually, let's talk about the sculpt and paint really quickly. Uh, so, he does kind of have a red tint to him, I don't think you can tell. Um, but as you can see, I mean, practically he's like, a, I don't know what to describe him, but it's a shirtless guy with a bird head, and his pants is made out of fire. Uh, but it looks really, really great. The, the pants or the leg are sculpted really, really nicely right here. All that intricate sculpting to make it look like fire, the shading, uh, so it really breaks up the color right there to make it look like it's kind of like different colors and brightnesses. Uh, and then, you know, musculature all throughout, shading in the back, so in terms of look, it looks fantastic. Uh, okay, so let's look at the articulation. So for the head, he only comes with one head uh, and one expression. Right here, and it is on a hinged ball joint right here. So really good range of motion going up, and a pretty good range of motion going down to look at his feet all the way. Uh, and you can probably notice that the jaw is also hinged. And again, it's, it's painted inside too. Let me see if I can shine a light in there for you to see. Uh, I guess there's really not much to see, but it's just a joint there, but very nice hinge jaw. Uh, and then for the neck, it is on a ball joint right here at the bottom. So very nice snare of motion. So you combine the two, look all the way down, combine the two, look all the way up, and then side to side. So very nice range of motion right here. For the shoulders, uh, there's no armor or anything like that, so you can get a pretty decent horizontal. Uh, the shoulder caps are kind of big, so it, it does kind of hinder it a little bit, uh, but he does get the full 360 right here. You kind of see there's a cut right here that there's a bicep swivel on both sides. It's a peg into the bicep and into the forearm, so they can rotate right here, um, but you probably don't need to because of this bicep. For elbows, double jointed. Uh, let me rotate that around actually. So really good range of motion, way better than 90 degrees. Uh, and then for the wrist, let me see, there's flame right here, but I don't think it rotates. Uh, for the wrist, standard kind of ball peg right here. Uh, the sculpt does get in the way for the wrist because it does come down kind of far, so you can't 
move it too much. So it's right, it's fine like that, but you can't make it go any further up. Uh, you can kind of finagle it too, um, but the wrist will be hindered by this sculpt right here. Uh, for the ab, it is a ball joint right here, and then just a twist right here. And then so this is him going all the way forward, and then his, this is him going all the way back. So uh, it's deceptive. It feels like there's a lot of range of motion, but when you actually do it, it's really not that far. Uh, but you get pretty decent side to side. Uh, kind of limited. Uh, okay, for the hips, you have regular just ball joints right here. Uh, so this is about as far as it's going to go for the splits out sideways. There is a thigh swivel right here. Again, hidden pretty well thanks to the kind of asymmetrical sculpt and kind of how it looks right here. So, I swivel, and then you have double jointed knees. Uh, let's see. So, thanks to the sculpt, 90 is all about you're going to get. Uh, let me see if it's any better than the side. Yeah, just about 90. And then for the boots and ankles, you actually get a swivel at the top of the boot right here. Uh, and then you get the regular ankle articulation. Let me just do it on this side. And it's kind of dark. Let me bring the light closer. Okay. Uh, and so for the ankle right here, uh, the sculpt does come down on the side, so it does limit the articulation a little bit. But pretty decent range of motion if you're pointing the toe. Uh, pretty decent range of motion going up. And then there is a rocker right here. But again, the sculpt might get in the way. But let me see. Oh, wow. Hold on. Never mind, that's just the boot. Okay, so you do get it here. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this accessory right here, though. So these are two alternate legs, because this guy is essentially made out of fire, so it's supposed to make it look like he's flying right here. So all you do is you pop the leg off at the knee right here. And this is actually the first time I've done it, so... All you do is you pop it off right here, uh, and then you just pick the right side. I believe it should be this side because the flames are on the outside of the knee. And then you just peg them in. You just stick them in like that. And there you go. That's all it takes. And that way you can just make it look like he's floating up in the air as complete fire. So it's a really, really nice effect. Super cool. Uh, so let's see. After looking at the whole thing, I gotta say, I definitely do recommend it. If you're a fan of JoJo uh, and you happen to have Abdul, this is a no-brainer. Uh, you can't have the user without the stand. And likewise, if you're gonna get this character or this figure, you're gonna have to get Abdul too. Um, you know, combined with kind of all the accessories he comes with, because of all the fire, and these effect parts, uh, you're getting a really good deal here. Because again, not a super popular character. Right, but when you have these two figures, and then you have like these four of these sound effect parts, which actually are very rare for this line, um, so it's a good it's a good set to have. And even if you're not a fan of JoJo, I would still recommend it because it's such a unique looking figure. Plus, it's just like a flaming bird, so it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of an interesting figure, and it's just kind of a kind of unusual. Uh, so if you're an into unusual figures and kind of fantasy figures, 100% recommend. Uh, okay, well, that does it for this review. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this guy in some poses. Thanks for watching.